it has become extremely plausible that this trip between the maternity ward and the crematorium is what there is to life. But when you consider this attitude, you know, what is the poetic counterpart of it? Man is a little germ that lives on an unimportant rock ball that revolves about an insignificant star on the outer edges of one of the smaller galaxies. Oh, what a put down that was. But on the other hand, if you think about that for a few minutes, I am absolutely amazed to discover myself on this rock ball rotating around a, sp a spherical fire. It's a very odd situation. And the more I look at things, I, I cannot get rid of the feeling that existence is quite weird. And sensible people, it's not existence, it's nothing at all. I mean, it's just basic, just go on and do something. See, this is the current movement in philosophy. Logical analysis says you mustn't think about existence. It's a meaningless concept. Well, as Aristotle said, wonder is the beginning of philosophy. Because it strikes you that existence is very, very strange. And then more so when this so-called insignificant little creature has inside his skull a neurological contraption that is able to center itself in the midst of these incredible expanse of galaxies and start measuring the whole thing. That is quite extraordinary. I believe that if we are honest with ourselves, that the most fascinating problem in the world is who am I? What do you mean? What do you feel when you say the word I? I myself. I don't think there can be any more fascinating preoccupation than that because it's so mysterious, it's so elusive. It is absolutely absurd to say that we came into this world. We didn't. We came out of it. <laughs>